The Synod of Bishops was instituted by Pope Paul VI. It addresses concrete matters pertaining to the life of the Church. The Pope convokes it, and it is a consultative mechanism. Participants at a Synod of Bishops, as the name indicates, are bishops, but the Synod has been developing. The goal is to get bishops to see the Synod not as a parliament in which a majority wins, but as a meeting among brothers. It's an experience. It's an exercise in which we listen to the Holy Spirit by listening to each other. It is vital that bishops arrive to the meeting having done their homework. That means having listened to the needs of their respective dioceses. They do not attend a synod to present their own opinions, but to help other participants better understand the situations of their own dioceses. The Pope asked several times that listening be a fundamental principle in the life of the Church. In a democracy, what works in general is the opinion of the majority. In the synodal Church, the principle that regulates the life of the Church is the sensus fidei. This is the voice of the Holy Spirit manifested through the baptized. The fundamental element of the Synod of Bishops is listening. It works on three levels. This is how Father Carlos Martinez Oliveras, author of 10 Things Pope Francis Wants You to Know About Synodality, explains it. His guide summarizes some of the key ideas. The Pope always, even in his exhortation Evangelii Gaudium, talks about all, some, and one. These are the three levels of listening. First, we must listen to the entire people of God. Then the Synod of Bishops must have a moment of discernment in which the bishops have to accept their responsibility to be pastors of God's people, and then they communicate their conclusions to the Pope who decides what to do. For the next Synod, these three levels of listening will be divided into phases. Each bishop will organize meetings in his own diocese. Then he will take the conclusions of those meetings to two entities, first to his bishops' conference, and then to a continental assembly, which is the final phase before all the bishops gather in Rome. The Synod planners have insisted that the Synod of Bishops is not the only expression of synodality within the Church. We must not reduce the Synod and synodality to the Synod of Bishops. The Synod of Bishops is a manifestation of synodality, but it is not the only one. There are other manifestations of synodality in the Church, like pastoral councils, bishops' conferences, and others. It is clear that the last popes have promoted this form of governing within the Church. They define it as an essential element of the Church that goes back to the first Christian communities.